I don't expect you to understand what I did. You've got a family around you, not alone. What's that got to do with anything? Please, just listen. I'm trying to tell you. When our marriage fell apart, when I went to the city, I had nothing. You don't know what it's like. No kids stayed with you. I felt so alone. It was so empty. That was your choice. Yeah, I know, and you don't know how many times I've regretted it. And then I met David. He's a wonderful man, and we made a great life together. It's just one problem. First he needs a kidney transplant, and David can't stand scars. That's it? That's what made you think twice about helping our daughter? It's a phobia, Reese. I don't know where it came from. I, I don't understand it myself, but scars, any, any type of scar, they make him feel physically sick. What the hell has that got to do with you donating a kidney? Well, you haven't seen the way he looks at a scarred body, any scarred body. I don't want him looking at me like that. I know it sounds selfish, but having this operation means the end of my relationship, and that's why I hesitated. You thought about not helping our daughter because of his hang-up. His face, it's not something he can control. Yeah, well, I'm a little bit phobic about losing one of my kids, aren't I? Well, what if you had to choose between Beth and a kidney? Exactly. This isn't about me and Beth, all right, so don't you tar us with your brush. Oh, you are so sanctimonious. I can't believe I actually thought I could fall in love with you again. No, j just forget it, OK? I, I didn't come here for your judgment or your approval. If, if you've got a problem, don't make it Kirsty's. <laughs>